protect your knobs. Hello and welcome to my review of the Orc Mech. One of these models will set you back £15. It's quite rare nowadays that you get a single plastic mini in a clamshell pack for £15. So what we'll do is we'll have a closer look at the mini, uh, we'll go through the spare parts of which there is one, and then we'll do a load of size comparisons uh, along with covering all of the rules. So this is the Orc Mech. Now I've gone for the kill saw, you also get a adjustable wrench as a weapon. <laughs> But there's nothing stopping you from uh, using a chopper from another orc from the main orc box set or whatnot. Uh, he's also equipped with this uh, custom mega slugger, which uh, adds a little bit of an uh, extra bite to his range. Uh, I like his uh, head and the detail there, very mech looking, loads of um, spanners and uh, there's a bolt. Uh, this is the kill saw. Um, I like how it's just like strapped to him and he's got this um, trigger lever uh, to activate it. Uh, and yeah, he's also got a guard. He's got a, a hand guard on there. I'm not sure why. <laughs> For protection maybe? I don't know. And then he's got this uh, blowtorch burner thing. Uh, it kind of just ends there, which is a little bit odd. I would have liked to have seen that. It almost looks half unfinished. I get that he can just squeeze that and then you know, the jets of uh, flame will, will come out. Um, the power plant looks quite decent. That's powering partly his custom mega slugger. Some nuts there as well. And uh, it's got a cog uh, on the top symbol. This is some kind of harness with a gauge. It's got some screws. Really cool looking mini. Um, let's have a look at this spare part then, this adjustable wrench. Uh, yeah, it's odd that you don't get a, a chopper with the model, but as I say, he's pretty much the same size of a orc boy, so you could pass, so you could um, implement a, a chopper uh, with this model, absolutely no problems whatsoever, but this is the adjustable wrench there, um, which you may have seen him, which is great because it means that if you were to get a second one, he's not going to look exactly the same. He's mega slugger is going to look the same in the same position um, you can sort of move the head a little bit uh, but at least there's some variety with this um, adjustable wrench if you want to go down that route so going through some size comparisons then now it's pretty much become a tradition in all of these October videos for me to get my knob out and here it is um, it's uh yeah he's, he's smaller than the knob um, knobs are quite big especially this chunky boy quite thick compared to a big mech in mega armor dwarfs him completely dwarfs him you know if you want a big mech uh you know in, in the mega armor go for the go for the mega armored knobs uh, kit um just to protect your knobs and then i don't know why but i've got a killer can here too uh, just to give you a comparison maybe he's he's going to be repairing the killer cans maybe he's repairing all the trucks and the vehicles uh, and so on but uh, I wanted to show you those uh, size comparisons with uh, the killer cam finally the uh, other comparisons I want to make is just with the normal orc uh, models so you've got a war boss there you've got an orc boy which I said is a similar size and then you've got the Gretchen um, so if we just compare him to a orc boy he's a little bit bigger but arm wise you could easily put a, a chopper on there if you wanted a bit of variety. So that's how he kind of stacks up. Um, great model to go with your force and uh, complements the rest of the orc range, of course. And here we've stumbled upon the orc mech in his natural habitat, a mech workshop. One of these mechs would look amazing uh, in, in this workshop, especially if you want to equip him with the adjustable wrench. Um, you know, working on tools, he's just put his wrench down um, somewhat, uh, or his arm down, and uh, and now there's a knock on the door. Well, there isn't really a door. That would just be a waste of time because uh, he's so busy. Um, and uh, and then he pops out and uh, fires off his custom mega shooter. So yeah, works really well with the Mech Boy Workshop. And uh, definitely, if you put some trucks and things uh, nearby, um, lovely kit. I'll be doing a review of, of this uh, Met Boy Workshop very soon. I, I bought it ages ago, um, so thank you for your patience. And the final size comparison I like to make uh, is the one I always make, is with uh, all the Imperial models. So we've got a, a normal Space Marine there on the left, uh, Primaris on the right, and then Sly Marbo in the middle. Um, he's shorter than pretty much everything, except for maybe Sly Marbo. 
uh, he's probably a little bit tiny bit bigger than Sly Marbo but a normal Space Marine he's smaller uh, Primaris he's definitely smaller these Orcs look tiny now compared to the Primaris um, and they're even still smaller than the Space Marines so you think Space Marines are having a hard time well Orcs are having a very very hard time and look at this Orc compared to this Primaris absolutely tiny isn't he I'm sure we'll get some kind of slight size increase for new Orcs eventually so now we're into my part of the review where I will go through all of the rules for the Orc mech. You'll find them in a drawer full of spanners tidily organised in the Elite section of the Orc Codex. He is a power points cost of a 2 and a points cost of 22. You can give him a friend in the form of a Grot Euler at an extra 4 points, quite cheap. Now his stat line is a movement of 5 inches, weapon skill 3+, plus, ballistic skill 5+, plus, strength 4, toughness 4, 3 wounds, attacks 2, leadership 6 and a save of 6+. Plus. That's pretty diabolical. Um, the Grot Euler is a movement of 5 inches, weapon skill 5+, plus, ballistic skill 4+, plus, strength 2, toughness 2, 1 wound, 1 attack, leadership 4 and a save of 6+. Plus. At least it's not as bad as the Grot Euler. And um, one thing to note is you don't actually get a Grot Euler with this mech model. You do get the Grot Euler uh, with the Mega Armored Knobs. Um, so I guess you could use that one in, in, in lieu. Or you can just pick out one of the other uh, Grots and have that as a Grot Euler. A mech is a single model armed with a custom Mega Slugger, Chopper and Stick Bombs. It may be accompanied by a Grot Euler. So the custom Mega Slugger, which you may not have seen before, but it's a range 12 inch, pistol 1, strength 8, AP minus 3 and a damage of D6. If you roll one or more unmodified hit rolls of 1, the bearer suffers one mortal wound after all of the weapon's attacks have been resolved. Well, it's good that you only get one shot, but it is only on a 5 plus. It's a, it's a strong shot, it's a decent enough weapon, but the fact that um, you can cause one mortal wound on the mech um, just adds to the fun, I guess. The chopper works as usual, which is the strength of the user, AP 0, damage 1, and each time the bearer fights it can make one additional attack with this weapon. So the kill saw times the mech's uh, strength by 2, so that would be strength 8, uh, AP minus 4, and a damage of 2. Uh, when attacking with this weapon you must subtract 1 from the hit roll. Weapon skill is 3 plus, unfortunately it's not a 2 plus, uh, but then again the, the big mech in Mega Armor or the big mech with a shock attack gun is has the same weapon skill. So you're going to be hitting uh, on 4s and he's only got 2 attacks, uh, but it's nice that he's got a bit of bite if an enemy does come up and um, you know try and take him out in uh, combat, but remember his toughness is only 4 and he's only got uh, the 3 wounds. Stick bombs work as usual, uh, they're a range 6 inch, grenade D6, strength 3, AP 0 and a damage of 1. And this model may replace its chopper with a kill saw. Abilities, here we go, mob rule, daka daka daka, mechaniac or mechaniac. Uh, at the end of your movement phase, this model can repair a single friendly model within 1 inch. That model regains one loss wound. A model can only be repaired once per turn. Works just like the other uh, mechs. Grot Euler. Once per battle, a Grot Euler can assist its master in making repairs. If it does so, the model being repaired gains one additional lost wound. When rolling to wound this unit, use the mech's toughness while this is on the battlefield. The death of a Grot Euler is ignored for the purposes of morale tests. The Grot Euler is considered to have the character keyword for the purposes of shooting attacks. Keywords, Orc, Character, Infantry, Mech, Infantry, Gretchen, Grot, Euler. So there you go. Uh, that is my review of the Orc Mech. Uh, it's very much like uh, the big mech with shock attack gun, uh, except has uh, less strength, uh, less wounds, less attacks, less worse, much worse a save. Doesn't have the amazing shock attack gun. If you were going to get uh, either of those two models, I'd go for the uh, mech with the shock attack gun. Uh, for the extra points, the double po the points, but a normal mech, and it is a cheap unit uh, that can uh, repair your uh, vehicles um, without uh, rolling any dice. You just get one loss wound. However, the big mech with shock attack gun bumps that up and uh, can repair vehicles within three inches and also D3 lost wounds. So again, worth the bump in price, not just for the uh, the gun uh, but for the buff in the big mechaniac uh, ability and the big mech in mega armor uh, is the most expensive and uh, is slower it's got more wounds the best save of course 
can have a custom force field and has a lot of decent uh, melee and uh, ranged weapons. But there you go, there's the cheapest of the mechs. Uh, I think it's a cool, fun looking model. Great to have in your orc army anyway, if you've got a load of vehicles, uh, regaining that lost wound is quite useful. What do you guys think? Uh, please do put all your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. It'd be great to hear from you. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching, for Gork and Mork.